Tokyo is one of the most amazing cities in the way that it's capturing a modern world, but also somehow deeply rooted into a culture that is extraordinary. But it's largely hard, dense city, lacking greenery in general. In our solution, we tried to put something that would create public green open space that was embedded in the architecture so that we could have nature and this sort of diverse functionality all happening at the same time and the feeling that we were making a district rather than a building. Very early on, our team was interested in integrating nature into this city centre project in a major way rather than a sort of minor garnish way around the edges. It had to be a, a technique that allowed nature and buildings to merge together. And our breakthrough was thinking about pergola structures. What interested us was that the timber structure is square, it makes a grid that if instead of just seeing it as a flat pergola with plants growing through, we could deform that while from above still keeping the square grid, almost like a, a net or a sheet of fabric. So as you walk around, a piece of park rises up and becomes a building and not just have a street level and roofs, but blur that. Good developments need to be like a reef, so that people come and swarm and around and engage and find their own points of attachment. And the big shiny buildings of glass didn't sort of allow much points of attachment you were just a customer. Whereas the heart of Azerbaijan Hills is a street. And there's staircases and walkways through that stitch into the older districts around. And there are existing temple buildings around. There's the new school that we've created. 800 children will be beginning being there, sort of mixing together with performance space. It's an unusual layering of, of parts of a culture that's more sophisticated than just work, shopping and living. This was a very important project for Mori because the site had taken 27 years to make all the agreements with everybody who lived there. And what touched me a lot was that the head of the local residents association, who I think was 92, who moved out, one of the first people to move back in 